Hello everyone! The fourth video in the Coding Bits series is here. This time we will be creating a whole game, which isn't an easy task. It will look like a simple game, where you'll move a character that collects objects while counting the score. Let's begin! Now let's make some variables and name them position x and position y. Those will determine the player's position on the screen. Drag and drop them onto the drawing area. Find the block named 123 in the math block section and place it here. Type in the numerical value you want. Create another set of variables that will determine the speed of your ball. Let's call them velocity x and velocity y. Drag and drop the new variables below. Velocity x will be the velocity of the ball in the x-axis direction, and velocity y will determine the velocity of the ball in the y-axis direction. Make the numerical value of the velocity 0.01 for both x and y. Let's make a few more variables while setting up our game. You can name them last time and score. Of course, you should put the value of score to zero at the beginning of our code. Now go to the time blocks section and look for the milliseconds since started block and add it to the last time variable. We have to create a function if we want to execute some code. Let's name our function create pickup and place it under the score variable. You probably guessed the next step, creating some variables for the newly made function. Let's call them pickup x and pickup y as they will define the position of the pickup. Let's set those variables to a random integer and you will find a block for that in the math block section. An integer is a whole number that can be positive, negative or zero. Place these blocks in the pickup variables and write the numerical value. For pickup x and pickup y, use a random number between 10 and 118 because of the screen resolution. Now we'll create a new function and call it physics. The first thing we need to do in the physics function is create a new variable and call it time delta. We created this variable to note the elapsed and measured time difference. We will calculate time delta by subtracting from the current time the last time the function was executed. Also, we'll have to divide it by 1000.01 to get the time in seconds. Now we also need to set last time to milliseconds since started, like shown here. Velocity y will increase by multiplication of time delta and 60.
we have to update position x and position y based on the velocity. You can do that using the following blocks. Now let's see what will happen if the ball hits one of the edges of the screen. We'll use the if do else if do block from the logic section like this. Place the comparison block in it and set it like shown here. If position x is under the numerical value of 5, velocity x will change into minus velocity x. To achieve that, add these blocks. In other words, the ball will change its direction when it hits the edge of the screen. Now let's see what happens if the ball is in position over 123. Once again, we have decided that the position x is set to 123. So if the position x is bigger than 123, the ball will change its direction. Now let's repeat the process for the y position. When we're done, the physics function should look like this. We're done with the hard part. Congratulations! Now, let's do some drawing. Can you guess what the next step is? That's right, creating a new function. Let's call it draw. Every time you draw something on the display, the first thing you need to do is fill the display with some color. We chose black. You can find that particular block in the display block section. Once we color our screen black, we can start to draw. Once again, let's go back to the display block section and choose one of the blocks. This is the one you'll need. Change the radius to 4. The x coordinate will be the variable position x and the y coordinate will be the variable position y. Change the color to green. Now let's draw the smaller balls you'll need to catch. The process is the same as when we made the player ball. Since we have to distinguish between the two balls, we need to change the color of the other ball. You can put any color you want. Also, the x coordinate will be the variable pick up x and the y coordinate will be the variable pick up y. As this is a smaller ball, the radius will be 3. Only one thing is left for us to draw, and that's the score. You can achieve that by using this block from the display block section. In order to display the score on the screen, we need to find the create text blue block. Let's put the word score, and for that we'll need to use the first block from the text block section. We also need to put the variable score. In X and Y, you'll write the desired position where the score will be written on the screen. Don't forget to change the color. Good job, we're done with drawing. 
Now create a new function and call it check pickup. This function will detect whether the player has collected a ball. First, we need to calculate the distance between the player and the pickup ball. Create a formula like shown here. That's the formula for calculating the distance between two points in a two-dimensional space. We need to use the if block from the logic block section to check if the distance is less than 8 pixels. We'll use a comparison block to check that. If the distance is less than 8 pixels, that means that the player collected the ball, and the score should increase by 1. To keep the score, we'll have to take this block. So anytime you pick a ball, you'll get 1 point. If you want to put your function in action, you'll need to call it. So duplicate the create pickup block and add it below. Now we'll use the buttons to increase the velocity of the ball. Open the IO block section and drag the when button pressed block. If the right button gets pressed, velocity x will be set to 70 in the positive direction. And if the left button gets pressed, the velocity x will be set to 70 in the negative direction. If you press the up button, velocity y will change by 60. At the end, don't forget to add the loop forever block. Place, physics, check pickup and draw blocks inside. Also, add the scan buttons block and push frame. This is it. Now click the run button and have fun. If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, just go here and click on the Restore Firmware button.